Hello and welcome to Aircraft Design Project 1 Lecture Series 2. Weight Estimation A project with theoretical design of an aircraft is undertaken. We propose to design a six-seater passenger aircraft with a range of about 2000 nautical miles and a payload of about 1000 pounds. Using the data from comparative study, the required weight of the aircraft during various phases of its flight is calculated in the upcoming slides. Weight estimation. Following the design proposal, the first step in the design of a new aircraft is to obtain an estimation of the takeoff weight, often represented as WTO. This estimation is one of the most crucial since it is used in many other parts of the design. Because this is the first step, little is known about the aircraft beyond the objectives from our proposed design. Therefore, at this stage, some of the information used in making an estimation will rely on historical trends of other flying aircrafts. So, what do we do in weight estimation? In this slide, two flight plans are illustrated. The first plan is one of the most basic and would generally correspond to a commercial aircraft. It consists of flight phases made up of engine startup and takeoff, climb and accelerate to cruise altitude and speed, cruise out to destination, loiter at destination and landing. The next plan is more specialized and would generally correspond to a fighter aircraft. It consists of same first four flight phases, but following the cruise altitude, it includes a high speed intercept and combat. For combat aircraft, the range corresponds to its radius of operation, which implies that it returns to its original point of departure. This is different from that of a commercial aircraft, which is expected to land at a destination other than that from where it departed. And finally, the approach for determining the total amount of fuel used during a mission is based on considering the individual amount of fuel used within each flight phase. Department using the data from competitive study and our design proposal the following considerations can be made maximum Mach number of 0.6 takeoff weight nothing but wto of 35000 pounds cruise altitude of 50000 feet range of 2000 nautical miles payload of 1000 pounds endurance of 200 minutes are considered from historical data and our considerations. Another important fact that is structural factor. The expected structural weight for a particular aircraft depends on the type of aircraft. So as we are considering a jet transport aircraft, the values are taken and the structural factor has been found as 0.54. This calculation can be used in the later stage to determine the empty weight of a required aircraft. Estimation. The engine startup and takeoff is the first phase in any flight plan. It consists of starting the engine, taxiing to the takeoff position, takeoff and climb out. A good empirical estimation for the weight of fuel used in this phase is from 2.5 to around 3% of the take total takeoff weight. Therefore, uh, the weight fraction is varies from 0.9% to 0.975 we have considered a fuel at takeoff of 2.8 percent which gives us of about 980 pounds of fuel being used at takeoff and finally we get our final weight as 34,020 pounds
climb estimation. After takeoff, the aircraft will generally climb to cruise altitude and accelerate at cruise speed. The estimation of the weight fraction for this phase of the flight can be found from empirical data. WF by WI weight fraction is equal to 0 0.985 at climb. Considering the WI at climb is equal to WF of engine startup that gives us equals 34,020 pounds. And ultimately we get our WF at climb as 33,509.7. For this flight phase, we do not have to rely as much on historical information. For a cruising aircraft, the air fuel weight fraction can be determined quite well from an analytical formulation called the Brigitte range equation. The selection of quantities might appear to be rather difficult at this point in the design. However, it is important to stress that the conceptual design is an iterative process and initial guesses are likely to be improved upon uh, at later point in the calculation. In making choice now for efficient cruise which ma with maximize range, lift by drag will be close to lift by drag max. A reasonable estimation is L by D equals to 0 0.94 into L by D max. So which gives us L by D equals to 13.442 for our considered aircraft. The L by D max val value varies from aircraft to aircraft and it can be found in subsequent slides. A range of 2000 nautical miles is considered and WI uh, the weight at this initial phase will be the WF at climb that is around 33,509.7 and an important factor that needs to be considered is speed of sound that is the speed of sound at the cruise altitude desired for the particular aircraft and subsequent calculations using the range equation can be made and the L weight by final weight by initial weight value can be found as 0 0.77578. The data used in cruise estimation has been referred from various resources. A table has been displayed in this slide where with respect to altitude, the speed of sound variation are being mentioned. Make sure the conversion from the speed miles per hour or knots or kilometer per hour or meter per second to feet, feet per second. And the calculation needs to be carried forwarded. The specific fuel consumption for a desired type of engine has been mentioned and the reference is from aircraft design, a conceptual approach by Raymer. And similarly, the L by D, average L by D max for different type of aircraft are being considered. So for our aircraft, that is, uh, commercial jet transport which is around 14.4 this value has been used and further calculations has been done lighter fees consist of cruise for a specified amount of time over a small region lighter time is usually built into the flight plan to allow for delay prior to landing for this phase the fuel weight fraction is derived from an analytical expression called the endurance equation. Using this equation, we have found our weight fraction, which we have got of around 0 0.82. The endurance in minutes and hours are considered, and the loiter specific fuel consumption varies from cruise and loiter conditions. Here we have a 0 0.8 for pure turbojet engine. Landing estimation. The final phase of the flight plan is landing. As an estimation of the fuel weight fraction used at landing, we use the same empirical formulation that was used for startup and takeoff. That is, the fuel weight fraction varies from 0 0.97 to 0 0.975, and we ultimately find the final weight at landing as 21,275.13 pounds. The final calculations after obtaining all the results. 
the total fuel fraction for the complete flight plan is the product of the individual weight fractions for the respective flight phases so the total fuel weight then corresponds to the estimated takeoff weight minus the weight after landing plus 5% reserved fuel and 1% trapped fuel the available empty weight consists of initial estimated takeoff weight minus all the removable weight including fuel weight then this is compared to the required empty weight which is the structural weight we can expect for a particular type of aircraft based on historical data so the structural weight is determined as empty weight by takeoff weight and the value is about 0.54 so the required empty structural weight is 19,055.67. So the final takeoff weight is the sum of fuel weight and required empty weight and payload weight. The difference between the available empty weight and required weight gives the surplus empty weight. So the objective of this takeoff weight estimation is to have a zero surplus weight this requires an iterative approach where an initial takeoff weight is guessed the subsequent values and the calculation are being presented for a six to ten seater business jet aircraft in the subsequent slides in this slide the iterative process has been shown approximately 10 iterations has been done and the values are being represented this is a sample value which can be referred and seen that there is a change in weight estimation the takeoff weight from initial to the final so that we reach to a surplus weight of zero in this slide the startup climb and cruise phase are being represented and in the subsequent uh, slide other phase will be represented So com continuation from the previous slide, loiter, land and the final calculation has been done and the respective change in weight and other factors and the final weight at each and every state has been mentioned and it can be very well determined that the surplus weight has been brought down to zero in the last iteration which gives us the final result and the estimated weight we should consider for our objective and for the aircraft that we want to meet the required parameter. Thank you for your patience and I hope this lecture series will be helpful enough for your calculations for the weight estimation for the desired aircraft. You can always refer to the value and change the required parameters according to your objective and the aircraft type you have selected. Hope you have enjoyed it and I will uploading the further processes in the subsequent time so that you can develop your own aircraft model and theoretical calculations with respect to your objectives. Thank you and have a good day.